Now with us to take a look at these developments is Emmanuel Okoye, who is a cyber security and forensic analyst. Thank you, Emmanuel, for joining us on Newsnight. Thank you very much. Okay, the, the, this, on the surface, this idea looks uh, really? remarkable. Mm -hmm. But then when you look at um, the modalities and the functionalities, uh, we're going to have all the details of uh, the senior citizens in one card. Mm -hmm. How safe is this when you look at data protection? Um, we, one can as well say data that are compromised, you know, are actually a bit giving room for exploitation. Now, data that are collected and put together in a single device, in a microchip, is actually going to be a robust way of exposing vulnerabilities. But one could come back to the latest technology we are having, having deployed a lot of tools that can put together the protection of chips not to be compromised. And another way of seeing it that, you know, these are people who are not controlled by the way technology moves. They just look for a way of trying to leverage on one simple click and automatically get their problem or challenges solved. Then a way of trying to bring experts into this to curtail and combat the level of cyber crime in regarding thwarting this effort will be of great immense. All right, it will be nice to, if, for you to even simplify it further. Mm -hmm. I mean, tell us what the risks are and what exactly are the benefits. And b beyond that, if I'm at risk, can I get a solution to, you know, minimizing my exposure to risk? That's what we'd like to know because, look, these senior uh, citizens, they can be quite vulnerable. Yeah. It's a lot easier to, you know, uh, I mean, <laughs> what's that word? I'm trying to find that word right uh, now. To, to, you know, to, to express. Yeah. Express to, express yeah. Yes, exactly. Their, their level of yeah. vulnerability. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, uh, as experts, what we see as a way of trying to help the senior citizen is to ensure that they have a team, a corresponding and an incident response team on ground and possibly mm. deploy tools called IDSC and IPSC. That means uh, intrusion detection solutions available on ground and also intrusion protection solutions also to help them. Perhaps these are real life scenarios and threats are emerging every day. Mm -hmm. Experts are trying to combat these vulnerabilities and threats. And the more you're co trying to combat these vulnerabilities, the other loopholes open for such a breach to take effect. Emmanuel, uh, let's, let's break this down here. Let's break it down. Um, let's look at a 70-year-old man who, who has standard six. Mm. Do you understand? Okay. Now, mm -hmm. he's holding the card and he gets somewhere to maybe to an ATM to make a withdrawal, finds out that all his money is gone. Okay, so... What I, does he do? What, what does he do? What, what number do you want him to call? He probably doesn't even know. Maybe he doesn't even... <laughs> If we use a cell phone or something. Yeah, so. the, the, there's what we call cyber safety tips. Right. The cyber safety tips are educating the citizens, uh, the senior citizens, on the modalities, the simple ways to overcome being you know, exposed to this type of scenarios. One is to ensure that they are careful who they share these details with. And two is to also ensure, most times uh, in the cost of this, definitely there will be mobile applications that will help them also do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Now, they also need to be careful who they share these pains with. And in the cost of such incidents, or negative incidents, the first thing to do, there's supposed to be a solution, a technology that will detect that I am not the one that is doing this process. Ngozi, Suppose, Ngozi, supposed Ngozi, to be. Yeah. Do you mm. remember Supposed that? to be, now that's the under Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the, yes. Do, do you remember, Ngozi, when mm. he said that they should be careful whom they share their pain with, do, let me tell you how many of them use their pain. They're <laughs> going to say, my son, come. Mm. Do you understand? They, they, trust. They, they will tell you the pain mm. and ask you to <laughs> help them impute yeah. it on the system to make a withdrawal. Now, in developed set settings, you know, uh, they are leverage to who should use a certain card and who shouldn't be, right. who should not be allowed to. Reason being that, before you fill these forms, they have next of king. And if in the cost of this, some of these next of king are gone or possibly something happened to them, they are disabled. Automatically going to the ATM, the ATM wants to see, there's what we call cognitive science, the ability mm -hmm. to verify biometric voice or possibly the eye contact. 
Mm. And these are systems that already have been put in place to ensure that when you're giving someone, or maybe your son, or maybe your daughter, someone else picks this card, there should be an identity measure to see that, yes, this is the uh, automatic owner right. of this card. And if there is access for you to do that, definitely the bank and also the, the, the system, the network that has mm. been put together, the incident response team is expected to be monitoring. And that's why we still want to talk about the ability to train persons, not only everyone that is liable to, to be on the center of trying to combat crime. Any cyber security is actually the way forward. Cyber mm. security is the business of the professionals. And, this, and security is a business of everyone. So we need to take okay. cognizance to who we share some of our vital credentials with. Absolutely. And the same applies to, you know, whether it's the NIMSI, the mm -hmm. National uh, Identification uh, Card, or your BVN and all of that. It Absolutely. applies, it's the same, you know, instruction to everyone. But, oh, yes. And I'm wondering, is this not even unwieldy for the elderly, still staying on that? Because, I mean, we're talking about uh, cards for senior uh, citizens. You have the... NIN, there's a BVN going on, and a whole lot of other uh, things, you know, that you can use to identify yourself. Now we're hearing from the central bank uh, that they're, they're going to be asking for your social uh, media handles. Uh, handles and all of that. Yes. Why do we need this multiple means of identification? Several layers. Several. Of, uh, yeah. Of Doesn't it make it even more complicated, we, especially we are for working, the elderly? We are working, for me, and we're working to see that the system that is robust, need a strong team. I'm coming back to incident response team. Because that's right. the manpower. That's the only way to curtail and combat some of these attacks and crime. When we have a team, everyone is aware of the vulnerabilities involved. Where do you have these teams? Is it the different institutions having the, every, every the response of this, yes, teams? Yes, every, every of these institutions just okay. don't need only response team, but expert team, persons who are well trained with the skills. Mm. who are well-trained with the understanding of trying to combat and not just responding to crime. Emmanuel, wow. speak to us more about this incident response team because um, not many Nigerians are currently happy with the service pattern in Nigeria. So far. Okay, uh, we know what happens when you call uh, uh, network service providers and the tone of voice and the body language they give you. You can almost read from the other end mm. that th that person is not even happy with their job or they don't want to listen to you. So how then uh, would they be able to handle vulnerable uh, elderly with, um, uh, with the requisite uh, emotional intelligence? We, we, I still draw your attention to foot soldiers. Right. Foot soldiers. So a system that really want to work, having a synchronized database, doesn't need you to keep putting the same details. You're coming to the bank, you're filling the same form, doing the same thing, calling for your father who is supposed to be resting and picking his money anytime he wants to be sending his BVN all the time. It's actually worrisome, you know. That's why we need to build not just a team, but expert team who are right. well equipped with skills, with okay. letters licensed to kids to combat this kind of operation. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is going to be a different way from the usual BVN. When you're having a car that has everything you've worked for, man, you need a good expert team on ground. Extra, extra, extra yes. uh, security. Emmanuel Okoy, we must yep. thank you very much indeed for coming to this night to uh, share insight with us. Emmanuel Okoy is uh, a security and forensic analyst. Expert.